Hey guys, welcome to part 2 in this series, on um, number 32 overall, I believe. Um, anyways, we're gonna get right back to where we were. So we just declared um, our middle J panel, and we set the layout to be a grid layout, one row, three columns. So now we're gonna add the stuff to that middle J panel. Um, we're gonna add a our label that says enter time, and that's just basically that's what it's gonna say, so enter time, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a new J label. And it's gonna say enter time and I'll just put a uh, sec so they know stands for seconds. And then a semicolon. I mean a regular colon. And then a semicolon. So now they're gonna know to enter time in seconds. Uh, I'll just capitalize that. Alright. And I forgot, you gotta make this swing constant center also. Just so it looks neater. I mean, you don't have to, but I always like to. I get annoyed if it's off, off center, and it just looks ugly. So, all right, enter time, and then middle. Add it to the middle panel. Um, now we need to add our text field, and you don't have to give it any um width because it'll just automatically get one by the grid. And add that. Um, and your start button. And add all of this middle panel to your pane. All right, got that. And then going on to the bottom J panel. All right. And why did I call that button? Bottom. Or how do you even spell bottom? Is it B O? Yeah, that's how you spell bottom. All right. So now we got our bottom, and then set the layout. And just do this one's also gonna have three components, so let's do that. And make your click button, add that, so click button. And then click button set enabled. Um we're actually gonna have it be false when we launch the program. Because we don't want them, we don't want them to go about just clicking the button right away. Because then it wouldn't even, they wouldn't even have to use a time. They could just click without having a timer. So we're gonna have it false, so they can't just start clicking right away. That they need to click start first and then click. So yeah. <sighs> and then add the click button. Why do I keep spelling it with a U? Bottom and click button. Now we need our um, click label, and that's basically going to display how many clicks we've um, made. Um, say clicks, and it's going to be zero when it spawns, so we'll say zero. And then center it. And then add your uh, time left label. Not line left. Time left. And I think I'll just have to say like question mark or something when it spawns. So it's like time left. I don't know because you haven't entered it yet. But it'll get updated when we um, start the program. Or when we click the uh, start button. And then add it to your bottom thing. And then add that to your pane. Four point two. All right. Now we're almost done with the from constructor thing. So we just have to make our start button class. I'm just declare these and our click button class. So start button class and I'll call it start button class and then start button and action listener alright 
got that done. So done with the constructor. Um, what we all this re recap a little bit. Almost the only thing we've done so far was create the layout and um, declared four future classes that are gonna be our event handling classes. So first class we're going to code is the start button class, and this one's a little it's decently long, probably about 20, 15 lines. I don't know. <sighs> so public class start button class implements the listener listener public void action performed um what did I even call this one? SBC alright um now we need to alright oh sorry I'm watching TV at the same time so that's kind of kind of paused but <laughs> anyways um, we need to do a try catch block and then we need to do an if else block to do some logical val data validation and then what we're going to do inside of this method is um, start the timer and set a couple buttons false, another one true, um, catch an exception, um, create the timer, and yeah, I mean it's a lot of things, but it's not hard to understand, I don't think. Um, anyways, so first thing first is a try block. So don't worry about the uh, error, we'll catch it later. Then we're going to create an int. And this try block is in case they enter something like letters instead of numbers in our text field or symbols or something. Because it needs to be an int. So, int, I'll call it time count, and that's going to be. Um, it's going to be an int. You have to always cast it to an int because they might enter, enter a double. And then double, parse double, text field, get text. Got that? Alright, now let's go down a couple and do an if else block to make sure that the data they entered is positive. So, and by the way, if they enter nothing in the text field, this try block will go off and it'll say numbers only. That's why you don't have to worry about entering no data. We seem to worry about them entering uh, like negative data because you can't have negative uh, seconds. Cause it just won't work. All right. If time count is less than or it also can't be zero either because that'd be dumb. So if it's less than or equal to zero, then say um, just set the text field. You can just I don't know if I've taught you this, but you can actually set the text field to say whatever you want. It'll just inside the text field it'll pop up instead of saying a label. Um, it just saves room, I suppose. Something different. So set the text field and say positive numbers. Else that means they didn't trip that. Um, we'll actually do our things. So else um, we're gonna set our time left uh, label to say time left and whatever they entered for the time count so time left text um, time left and then plus time count and then we're gonna make, make our uh, we're gonna actually make our timer class and inside this timer class is where each time our timer sends off an action event um, thing, it's going to go to this class and process it. So, time class TC's new time class. Alright. Uh, one more thing. Um, and then we're just going to make a new timer. And then we already declared it up top. And now we're just going to say what it's equal to. So it's going to be equal to a new timer with a thousand delay and. Uh, class of TC, it's right here. So, keep an eye out for the part three of this series, and I'll see you there.